Hey, this is Corey from Wolfpack Woodcraft. And everybody knows that you need a map and a compass if you want to navigate anywhere. If you want to not get lost, map and compass. If you want to find your way to water, map and compass. A lot of people put them hand in hand. You always need a map and you always need a compass. Well, there's a lot of other tools that can really help you navigate around. And today I want to talk about those. Uh, the first one being flashlight. Being able to shine and see different things, uh, even just if you're looking at, if you need a straight line, okay, a flashlight is a really good way of pointing at things, drawing straight lines towards things. A uh, flashlight can really come in handy with land navigation. It can help you see at night and it can do all the things that you would do with a flashlight, help you not trip and fall over things. But making straight lines, uh, pointing at things, maybe communicating with other people this can really come in handy when it comes from getting from point a to point b uh, the other thing that i want to mention is flag tape now i don't use flag tape as much as i used to but this comes in really handy for me one of the things that i do to not get lost and to keep myself from wandering off aimlessly into the woods is i try to always stay within sight of my tent Okay, I want to make sure I have a big red tent so it's really easy to see. And I always want to make sure that no matter where I am, I can always look and find my tent. Well, with flag tape, what it allowed me to do early on when I started camping is I could see my tent. And so then I would put flag tape so I could go even further. And so as long as I could see the flag tape, I knew I was all right. Because when I went to go collect it to leave no trace, I'd be able to see my tent from there. And so then I could just kind of go further and further down the trail or into the woods. And as long as I could see the flag tape, I knew that when I went to go to collect it, I'd be able to see either more flag tape or a tent. Okay. And so it allowed me to travel further and further and further away from camp uh, without the fear of getting lost. Okay. So even without a map and compass, I was able to go into some pretty thick, deep woods, knowing I was all right, because as long as I could see the flag tape, I could get back to my tent. So that's a really good option as well. The problem with flag tape is once you use it, here, this is another thing. When I first started using flag tape, I didn't want to waste it. Because again, you're just it's a consumable. You're gonna crumple it up, throw it away. You're not really gonna reuse it, and so, there are two things, okay, when I was first starting off, I would use just a little chunk and I'd tie it to a branch because one, I didn't want to waste it. Two, I knew I was just going to throw it away and so I didn't want to be, I wanted to save my resource. And then three, they, I was kind of embarrassed, okay, I was embarrassed that I needed it. I was embarrassed that, you know, I didn't want people to see it, I'd be like, what is that guy doing, you know. And so I would just take a little tiny bit and I would put it on a branch. Problem is, is you can't go very far and still see that little tiny piece. You know what I mean? Like you, you, and so I was just putting little piece, little piece, little piece, little piece, really close together because it was getting harder and harder to see them. And so I would end up spending a whole bunch of tape because I was just taking little chunks and putting them really close together because they were hard to see. You're better off taking a big chunk and flying it like a flag, you know what I mean? And so you'll tie it off and it'll be blown in the wind or you can wrap it around the whole entire trunk of the tree so that you've got a 360 of where that flag tape is or you can go much farther in the distance and you can see the big orange flag flying. And so don't be afraid to use it. If you're going to use flag tape, always practice leave no trace. Always make sure that you're going back and collecting it and throwing it away and properly disposing of it. Uh, you don't want this stuff all over the woods. Okay, you want to make sure that you're going back and collecting it. But don't be, don't skimp out like I did. Okay, you don't want a bunch of little chunks. It's way easier and nicer to have a big, huge chunk of flying in the breeze or hanging down from a tree so that you can see it from a distance. You know what I mean? And so keep that in mind. Right? Don't be like me. Learn from my mistakes. Make sure that you leave a big chunk that's easy to see. Uh, the, but it is a consumable. 
You know what I mean? It is going to be something that you collect and throw away and run out of. And so another option is a rag. Now, the rag that I had before this video was dirty and black and gross. So I went out and bought a new one just for this video. But you can tie a knot in it. So you just grab the two corners and tie a knot. And then you can just walk up to a branch, put that on there. And now it acts just like marking tape, but you only have one. But because it's so easy to see, you can go much further. And so keep that in mind as well. You don't have to have marking tape. You can use a rag or a stocking cap or a glove or whatever you have on you that's easy to see at a distance. You can use that as well. You don't have to use flagging tape. Uh, the reason my rag gets so dirty is because I use it to uh, wipe off the tent. If there's a bunch of dew on the tent, I can wipe it off before I pack it up. I use it for my face sometimes. You know, there's always a good use for a rag, so I typically carry a rag uh, orange, so that's high visibility so I can see it. Also, something that really helps a lot is binoculars. Okay, so you're going to put your marking device out. You accidentally wander too far and you can't quite see it. You can pull out your binoculars, try to find it. Or if you have a bearing, so where I live, there's fields everywhere. Okay, so everything looks exactly the same because it's just fields. And so being able to use binoculars and spotting something way out in the distance, I can wander towards that thing and I can keep checking with my binoculars on how, if I'm heading in the right direction. You know, it's that lone tree way out in the distance that I can't even see with my bare eyes. I can see with binoculars. So I actually have small binoculars that I can carry with me and I have larger binoculars so if I'm planning on being in a field where there's not much to land navigate from I can use my binoculars to see things that are way off in the distance and so typically when I need binoculars I'm in a field and so like I have the barn to reference or a silo or maybe the town the water tower in the town and so I can see things at a very long distance away and always know kind of where I'm at. Uh, so I don't really use it for uh, my catching bearings and stuff. It's more for me to understand where I'm at in the middle of a field. Where's town? Where's my truck? Where's this? You know what I mean? So keep that in mind. The other thing is I like to have cordage on my compass so that it's dangling on my neck. So that as I'm walking towards the barn, the silo, the tree in the distance, I can constantly check my bearing to make sure I'm still there, okay? I know people, they want to protect their compass so they keep it in their pack. The problem with it in your pack is you can't, you're not going to want to drop rock, pull it out, check your bearing, put it away, keep going, marching. You know, if you put it in your pocket, you travel a long distance without thinking about it and then all of a sudden you're off track. If it's around your neck, every time you look down, you're like, oh, I might as well check it. You know, and since it's so convenient, you might as well check it. And make sure that you're always heading in the right direction. And so these are just some simple things to kind of get you thinking. Uh, again, they're not going to be the end all be all. There's a lot of land navigation tools. And I wanna know what your favorite one is in the description box down below. What is something that you use outside of a map and compass to help you navigate in your area, whether you're in the woods or at, in town or wherever it is, what are some things that you use to navigate? Leave it in the comment section down below. Make sure to thumbs up this video if it's something that you're interested in. And I can't wait to see you on the next video.